As you can tell from the title of this video, I'll be going over how to structure your personal statement, giving you some top tips that allowed me to receive four offers and also an invitation to the Oxford interview. So I'm going to start this video assuming that you know what degree you want to pursue. If you don't, you can watch my previous video where I go over how you can choose your degree. But now that you've chosen your degree, the first thing I want you to think about is what themes in this subject interest to you. Think about what you've done at school, maybe a particular work experience that you've done that piqued your interest in a specific topic in this degree and then you can go from there and explore more. I chose English and history. I was interested in how fiction, fictional narratives could actually tell us more about historical periods more than we think and that was basically the general idea. You want like a general idea for your personal statement and then you want to go into specifics in like each paragraph. Once you have like a question you want to interrogate, you want to think about what you've done at school, you know, what books you've read, what TED talks you've watched, what articles you've read that have piqued your interest in this theme. For reference, if anyone here is thinking of applying for English or history or English and History Joint Honours and you, you just want inspiration for like what books you could use. I used Inglorious Empire, Midnight's Children, Middlemarch and Othello. Go more overboard with super curriculars rather than extracurriculars. Just things to show that you pursue your academic studies outside of school because the admissions team at universities they care about you being an excellent student a studious person they want more of those kinds of people at university so you got to show that through super curriculars now for the structure paragraph one about my first point point two point three conclusion the first sentence of my first paragraph was the introductory sentence because I wanted to make the most of the 4,000 characters and I wanted to use most of those 4,000 characters being argumentative and talking about my points and using evidence in like the books that I'd read and showing that I was very curious and I was able to satiate my curiosity by reading more and learning more. I didn't want to just talk about or like oh ever since I was young I've always wanted to do this degree like no we don't need any of that. Yeah you always want to like start off your paragraphs with like reference to a particular book let's say that you read and you you then want to say this led me to read the da -da -da where I learned that insert what you learn x like challenge my preconceived notions about why I mean, like a certain event because da -da 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 -da, and then you you give like a concluding like sentence or two evaluating what you think now like showing that you're able to challenge your own opinions and you're able to develop more sophisticated opinions after having like, seen more evidence or like read more scholarly works. So make sure that at the end of every paragraph, you're always linking it back to why you want to pursue this degree at university. I remember in one of my paragraphs, I talked about how the fictional account of a particular historical event, it showed me how people at that time could have been feeling during the turbulent period that was the partition in India. You know, the insights that such fictional story could give like really interests me. I want to gain more insights like this at university and study English and history together at a higher level. Yeah last but not least just like start writing, don't overthink it. I'm the kind of person who likes to start writing and just like throw myself into it and then I just edit after because I know I just need to get all my ideas onto paper and then I can organize it through there. Now we're going to be going through my top tips. Please treat it like an essay, not a descriptive statement about yourself and your personality. It's more about showcasing your interest in a particular like academic field. Treat it like an argumentative essay. We've got a, a general like main point and you've got three sub points within that. And please do not worry if you don't have many extracurriculars. Just put like max one or two in your personal statement if they're super super relevant to how they changed your views on your field. Because you have your teachers like reference all that space to put your extracurriculars. I just want you to put mostly, if not everything, about supercurriculars. Because I think that's basically what I did. And I still got four university offers from Warwick, Bristol, Manchester, Cardiff 
and an invitation to the Oxford interview. That's kind of all I have to say. Throughout this video, I will put up like screenshots of my personal statement so that you can see examples of, you know, what you could write. Do not copy. They probably check for plagiarism. You don't want your application to be dismissed because of a moment of laziness. Now's the time where you can actually consider like your own views and think about what you believe in, like as a student or like as a person, not to get too philosophical. If you found this helpful, like and also leave a comment and subscribe if you want more study content. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!